Welcome to the House of Cat update. It is 4:57 p.m. on the 12th of the 8th of the 20 of the 21st of the 2000th. Stardate supplemental. Captain's lock. Canberra went into lockdown today, so I'm in Brisbane. And one of the things about me retreating to Brisbane earlier this year was my full intention of running a digital delivery semester from up in Brisbane to see if we, to start with, to see if we could. Look, I'm going to be absolutely honest about this. Yes, I ran a digital delivery under COVID conditions in 2020 in Canberra in a box that was within a, it was within a penguin's waddle of uh, the campus. I, I could pretty much lean out the side of the building and with a well-timed dove I could probably get a message to campus. And carrier pigeons weren't required, carrier cats could get the job done and they stopped for coffee on the way. It's basically it was fine. Like running it out of a uh, headquartering out of a little box in Canberra that went off okay. But the reason why it, it's a bit of a challenge coming up to Brisbane is that little logistical things like I can't just pop down to campus. I can't just nip across to the building to grab the thing I need or bring the computer in for surfacing or all sorts of logistics elements and little tweaks and things. So I set out. Um, didn't necessarily tell the bosses that's what the plan was. I came up here on long service leave, but I coincidentally arrived a week before uh, in 2020, in November, the end of uh, my plan was to come up to Brisbane at the end of November. I got a lease in early, mid-November. Uh, I was in Canberra. Canberra wasn't in lockdown, but Sydney was, and Queensland had closed the borders to New South Wales. Particularly, the Sydney local government area was in hot spot mode, uh, and I was mapping out all these different ways in which I could drive from Canberra to Sydney, Canberra to Brisbane without going through Sydney, and I was, got this inland route worked out, and um, I'd worked out every 250 kilometers fuel stops because at that point in time, my car was rated for 300k per tank, and I, I'd done all this logistics. And then the word of God from Queensland was, if you don't stop in the LGA of Sydney, you may cross the border. So I threw everything I could in the back of the car and gunned it, took off. Which meant that for two weeks, I was working for the ANU. In November 2020, I reallocated, reassigned, did all my paperwork to say I was based in Brisbane, in the apartment I'm currently in. Flash forward through to now, and that paperwork's still standing because I didn't actually go anywhere else during my OSP. I didn't change venues, locations, or whatever. So here am I in Brisbane, with all my paperwork sorted, and Canberra's gone into lockdown. So it's been a it's been a bit of a day. Quarter past twelve was the press conference. About 11.30 word was coming out that we were going to lock down, Canberra was going to lock down at 5. And my subject, MKTG2032, runs tutorials, in-room, face-to-face tutorials. On Thursday afternoons from 3 to 4 p.m. and 4 to 5 p.m. So this seven-day lockdown starting at 5 p.m. tonight uh, tagged two sets of tutorials. So four tutorials. They weren't cancelled though. And this is the hook. We have been we have students currently in Melbourne and in Sydney, and a lecturer in Brisbane and a tutor in Canberra. So we were running high flex hybrid classes already. That was just I started the semester with the uh, intention of full digital delivery from my side and being able to, at the drop of a cat, go, it's high flex, we, let's go. Okay, high flex is off, we're virtual only. 
in my cat dropping scenario, um, the cat landed on its paws most of the times, so apart from the time the butter, buttered side bread did. I didn't factor in one thing, and there was one thing only that could have caused me a bit of, uh, uh, not even grief, but one factor I didn't think about is because we run from three to five, my tutor was on campus. My tutor has a class from two to, teaches a class two to three for someone else, then goes three to four, four to five for me. I had, lockdown gets announced, campus is closed at 4.30, and I'm messaging my tutor going, at three, when you finish up your two to three o'clock class, get off campus, go, <laughs> take off, I'll look after the tutorial for you. Uh, and so I was, I had plans for Thursday. Uh, I just have come off the back of two tutorials, had to basically, we recalibrated on the fly. We changed things, we flipped things. We said, all right, 12.15, uh, as the press conference was going on, I was drafting my email, my message out to my students to say, hey, tutorials are impacted, stay off campus, if you are the face-to-face -face team, we're going virtual. But if you are based in Canberra, get your house in order. Go organise to be in a lockdown for seven days. We'll come back and sort you out later. Well, don't. And I actually have put a note in my thing saying, if you attempt to go, if you attempt to break lockdown to try to come to the tutorials, the tutorial space, I will fine you participation and engagement marks. I will, you do not have a justification to go, oh, but I must attend tutorial or I will not get marks. It's like, you break lockdown, I am. Ten, that is a minimum 10% loss. You are going to lose 10 marks from my subject. You breach lockdown on my watch, coming to one of my subjects, my house, in front of my salad. No, because my students, God bless them, were... The kind of, they've got that super enthused, once they're in, once they've looked in that, I'm going to class. They'll show up in hailstorms, they'll walk through flooded, like they will walk through flooded waters, and I'm like, it's flooded, forget it. They will do, people will click into that, I must do the thing. And it's, you know, it's a control mechanism, it gives a sense of, my world is in chaos, my world is in collapse, my world is collapsing, but I can control this particular aspect, therefore I will. Fair enough. I go, the world is collapsing, the world is in chaos. My time is here, my time is now. But that's been the day. So I've just, like, I had plans. I was things I was doing, there was research projects, there was stuff happening. But yeah, I've just come off the back of two tutorials. And it was one of those things where my tutor is currently somewhere on the road back to their place. Um, I'm hoping they're safe. They'll check in with me later. That's just, it was one of those things. We were ready for it. Uh, we, the campus, there's been a lot of talk around the campus about how we were, had reopened too early. Uh, you know, Canberra had, had this huge long streak of being COVID free. And the good thing is that last, it just confirmed that we were genuinely COVID free. Uh, from the press releases and the press updates on Saturday, like the, the points of interest um, for the poor chap involved who's got the, who has the runner, um, their point of potential infection in the community is, trag is tracked, tagged back to uh, Saturday night. But the announcement that this morning was there was uh, an alert last night, an alert yesterday. Uh, about virus fragments in the sewage water. So the first alarm, the testing system went off and said, alarm, there's a problem. There was a detection this morning. Uh, the city is shut down now to minimize movement to allow contact tracing and self-isolation and quarantining. The speed at which the entire Australian Capital Territory government reacted, responded, implemented and also had the data, had the data to hand, says that, yeah, we were clear all that rest of that time. 
they've reacted so fast, so well. Uh, and the press conference, the Chief Minister's press conference was a masterclass in a clearly very, very frustrated person because they didn't want to be standing up there announcing that they were shutting down a, a, the city. But also, each of the people who spoke, like the Chief Minister, the Health Minister, all the people involved, were absolutely on point, absolutely on message, reiterating around points, critical points. But also took the time out to, the Health Minister taking the time out to thank the person who was infected for having done absolutely all the right things. This person used all the check-ins. They so As soon as they felt unwell on symptoms, they were isolating. They got tested immediately. Everything but actually getting infected, and it looks like the infection could have just, like, bad luck on getting infected, but did everything by the book as per protocol. Uh, and just the Chief Minister also taking the time out to say, hey, these are the behaviours we need. We, we need you to understand that don't go... It's a set of rules that are guidelines don't go looking for the loophole because it's not about loopholes. The virus doesn't give a damn about whether you can have a very eloquently, carefully argued loophole. The virus don't care. So don't put your family at risk. Don't put your friends at risk. Don't put your community at risk. It's just really well done. And as having watched some terrible waffle come out of our leadership in and communication waffle in the last few years, seeing three people who were quite clearly having one of the most stressful days in their job that they had had just calmly go this is the situation this is the action we're taking this is what we need of you big shout out to and you know the health minister shouting out all the venues saying hey we're sorry we've had to go live in public with this before we've been able to get in contact with you we you know, it's not quite in so many words as we owe you a beer <laughs> sorry about this mates but again it was just it was one of those things it was really well done but except quarter past twelve there's me watching a press conference I'm in Brisbane so I'm safe but at that point I was nervous I want my uh, crew to be safe and checking in that my students were going to be okay my staff members were going to be okay my team down the Canberra were going to be okay what were the protocols we had to take into effect what were we going to need to do how what were the next steps? And before one o'clock, we had the messages out to the students. Uh, I had my staff member agree that he was going to, uh, I was going to take his classes and he was going to use that as paid travel time. So not what I was expecting for my Thursday, not what I was expecting for the next update, but uh, two things to definitely take out of it. One, geez, I'm pleased with how well we were ready for this. It just, it could not have been worse timing for my subject, but better performance for my subject. Everything just like, all right, throw the switch. We're good. Yep, virtual now. Perfect. And second thing out of this is, sure as hell validates my uh, off-campus backup system that I implemented. So I'm pretty, like, hardest part about the zombie apocalypse is hiding my, containing my, um, excitement. Second hardest part is remembering whether I'm a vegan zombie or not. Um, but yeah, this this is what we did. Because, <laughs> I top all this, the, the final, final thing. I was up till stupid o'clock this morning, by my standards. I was really super tired because I was working on finishing my application for the ANU Vice Chancellor's Teaching Award. I'll do a video about that a bit later. So I stagger back into consciousness this morning. I was like, oh, I just wish I was asleep. Uh, I mean, all right, my calendar is clear. There's nothing on the to-do list. I was like, okay, I can just you know, take a nice chilled afternoon. Play kits, lockdown activates. I've just run two classes. I've got a 6.30 to 8.30 open window of, hey, I'm available if people need to um, catch up about things, talk, just here is a space, the space is set aside for you in the virtual sphere. 
that was my plan. I was going, I was going, yeah, have a nice chill day. So, oh, well, here's the next one, and uh, I will tell the story of the vice chancellor's teaching award because uh, that in itself was just quite the experience. But that's just quite the experience for the next episode. Cat. So, cat, sun, sunny off. Wait, cat, sunny off, press the button.